Hey guys, Lucid. <clears throat> Sorry, mic adjustment. Okay, so uh, we got turn 117, and uh, I have not seen it yet, which is a change. But this is a popcorn episode, so we've got a play along challenge. Uh, if you want to make some popcorn, go ahead and pause it. Do some popcorn, because uh, we got a big battle with Relay. Probably the biggest underwater battle we've had all game. And I have zero freaking idea what he's got. I don't even know if he scripted it. It could be just nothing. But, uh, let us watch. Okay, he did not gem burn me. And I haven't seen this yet. So here are all my guys, and they're just clustered around. We've got quite a few bottles of water. On his side, he has a pretty big mind-blasting goon squad, which is scary. He has what looks like about 50... Star children who are going to get in some massive communion. He looks like he's got about a hundred slave mages. Holy shit! Now, maybe these guys are going to be the slaves. It's hard to know. <clears throat> about a hundred, two hundred meteorite guard, and then this is probably about a hundred illithids, and then about four or five hundred, maybe six hundred. Um, Hybrid troops. Whew. That is a lot of mages, boys. Are there any special dudes here? Like, things that are non relayan So far, this looks like mostly nationals. But the thing is, is Relayan nationals can kind of do almost everything. It's very little that Relayan na- Like, because these guys have so many cross paths, they can get death. Well, maybe not these guys. But these guys get nature uh, and earth which are like really important communion cross paths. Um, and then there are other, I don't see many of the star spawn. We see the star children. I don't really see the star spawn to do the death stuff. But it's got this guy with a bunch of earth gems. All right, well, we're not gonna get out of this with no attrition guys. There's just no way. So it's time to pay the piper. All right, uh, on my side, if you missed the last episode, what the fuck's going on with you, buddy? Oh, he's got power of the spheres. Um, we've got a smaller amount of mages, but they're higher quality. They're not going to be in a communion, and they're going to shit out. We're going to win this with water elementals, or we're not going to win it. <sighs> Buffed up water elementals. Oh my god, my, my volume's too loud. Okay, what what has he dropped? Oh. So he did mass protection, which is weird. He did fog warriors. Oh, he did that fast. Wait, who the fuck cast fog warriors? Because air is not something you expect these guys to have. He empowered an air? Okay, I'm really interested to know how this happened. Oh. Crystal Amazon. Did not see her. So that's actually really important. Okay, wait. We gotta turn colored scores on, because he's gonna be enslaving motherfuckers. Alright, so he's enslaved a few guys, but this is not a big deal unless he does master enslave. Have we got anti-magic off? Uh, we did, but we're only at 13 because it's uh, we're in Magic Dominion. Okay, he got another thing off. I don't know what this is. Oh, Serpent's Blessing, okay. Do these guys have region though? No region yet, but I'm pretty sure that's coming. Let's get the, the big battlefield view here. Now while he's enslaving my guys, it's actually keeping my water elementals from coming out. Um, but the trick is, do we both have shark attack? 
Okay, we both have shark attack. So shark attacks are going to kind of cancel out. I was really hope. I mean, I guess that's obvious. But if he didn't, that would have been a really big boon for me. Okay, there goes my army of gold. Now, the fact that my army of gold is later is actually going to be good for a few reasons, because... Um... Does it not get my fucking sharks? How does it... I would have thought it would have gotten my sharks. Okay. It does get my water elementals, though. These must be... Like, not technically the same side. I had no idea. Wait, but this shark got it. But most of them didn't. Just that one shark. Weird. Maybe he got Iron Warrior's cast on him. Um... Now we've got a soul list, so as our guys die, we have life after death. I don't know if he put off life after death. But we'll find out. Uh, Foul Vapors is not up yet, but it should be going up, unless our guy got sniped. Which... You know, we should be able to tell. I think our guy must have gotten sniped. Or maybe we didn't tell him to attack. It's possible we left him outside the fort. That would be a big mistake. Because he has Serpent's Blessing, it doesn't really matter, but... Where's our Grip of Winter? They don't have Frost Resistance. Did we not do Grip of Winter? There's like a bunch of stuff that I thought I cast that maybe I didn't. Like I thought I went and checked all this last turn. But this enslaved mind- Okay. <clears throat> We've still got water elementals here in the front. And they are slowly chewing their way through. Now, he's going to burn out his communion, possibly, if this becomes a very long battle, which it's seeming like it will. What got cast? Was that Will of Fates? Do I have Will of Fates? It looks like Will of Fates. It's like none of my stuff got cast. What the fuck? Like, where's my Will of Fates? I swear to God, I scripted it. Ah, right, we have to go back and look at the other turn. It's like none of my stuff is going off. Now, uh, our water elemental army, we did get mass region off, thank god. I can't tell if fog warriors went off. Maybe she'll cast it in a second. Cause she's been fatigued out, what is she casting? Panic? That's not really ideal. Does not really look like fog warriors went off, and I definitely had it scripted. It's like a bunch of stuff that didn't go off. Let's see how we're doing on the death toll here for our, uh... It's also possible the battle time's out. Okay, we haven't lost any of them. There's obviously a lot of troops here. Now, a lot of my guys should be on advance and cast spells, but all of the people on Guard Commander may be blocking them in. She might have gotten... I'm trying to find my Jade Amazon. So if he didn't do regen, I think Mass... I mean, I think Foul Vapors would be better for me. Okay, 
And now that he's mostly stopped enslaving, I wonder if his communion's burnt out. It looks like he's burnt out his communion. Yeah, I think he's burnt out his communion. Which is really odd. He must not have balanced it right because, well, okay, we know the problem. All right, guys, the problem, or not problem, I don't want to call it a problem, but why it burnt out, let's start there, is these guys are communion masters, which they make good masters, but the problem with that is they're going to be casting a lot of stuff off script. Um, and that off script stuff is not going to be astral. And if he used pri primarily star children as slaves, then he's going to kill them. Like, it's very, very hard to keep off mage communion slaves alive. Unless they're, like, scrotty. And he may have done regeneration on... I don't... Yeah, I can't find a single communion slave alive. But we can go back... I'm not going to stop it now, but we can go back and check. Um, we can go back and check and see what happened. One thing that's nice is when you do, like... A thousand damage to a water elemental, it actually just switches their form. Knocks them down a size. Now, our guys are still not advancing and casting spells, but a lot of them have water lens, so it's pretty long range. So let's actually go back down. And, uh... I want to... The part we keep checking on, I want to keep seeing here if they've... So they haven't killed any of my mage core yet. Oh, Astral Tempest is up. That's interesting. Okay, my Lich has made it out and he's coming forward. And he's still got a lot of death gems. He's got a limp, which is fine. But he's dropping Shadow Blast, which is going to clear a lot of the chaff out. And they're retreating. We've just killed so many of them. I think actually having Astral Tempest up might have been the biggest thing. because, Well, and not having Greet Mass Region on his side. Because just over time, Astral Tempest is going to do tick damage to him. And not to me. And I've just got this wall of water. And if you... Oh, man. Four ticks of unlife coming out. If you're into, like, thinking about what this would be like, maybe, I don't want to say real life, but in, like, a more realistic fantasy setting, you just have this wave of, it's, like, deep under the ocean, and you've got just this wave of, like, possessed water. Like, huge currents battering against the wall. And the, the forces of, the evil forces of the squids forced into a retreat. Yeah. So I think one of the lessons, there's a few lessons here. One is missing out on one or two key buffs can be the difference. Now, uh, we need to figure out what happened to my JDM. I think I forgot to send her in. Um, okay, this means Arcane Nexus only got 80 gems. That means that they are not casting shit. They are pooling to take it down because this was only me. Like, I would have myself just generated 80 gems. We lost two Kings of the Deep. We lost 70 War Shamblers. Not bad. But we got some soulless back. And one of our guys was converted into a soulless giant that we lost, one of our mages. And the other was just, he's dead. So yeah, the other guy didn't make it. Um, we found a bunch of stuff. Slave Matrix, Boots of the Messenger, Water Bracelet, Water Lens, Bag of Wine, Rat Tail, Firebrand, Flesh Eater, Flesh Eater, Armor of Knights. And you can see he lost everything. As one does in a fort. The other lesson here is in a very long battle, which is what you would expect if you have this many troops, <clears throat> um, communions are very, very delicate and finicky. And you have to err on the side of kind of extreme conservatism to keep them from dying. And in a very long battle, um, non-communion mages can be better if, because it's also hard to control. Like once the battle starts, you don't even necessarily get to control like, who dies, how many slaves die, how many masters die, and that can unbalance your communion. And then, um, like, once a few slaves die, it may be the slaves get a little more fatigue, 
and you know after that uh, it's just the downward spiral because there, now there's like fewer slaves to share the load and it goes on and on and on okay now what we're looking for is do I cast fog warriors and we're also looking for what buffs he has on his communion slaves so we'll let him finish the buffing cycle well, let me because I know I have fucking scripted fog warriors Yeah, so far, no fog warriors. What are you doing, lady? I guess she won't cast it. It's probably too much fatigue. Yeah, we just don't drop it. She's like, no, peace. Okay, well, I guess I got outplayed there. I outplayed myself, but I guess... I got the important things off, which was Master Jin. I, I put too much importance on her. She had too many important spells. And, like, if she got assassinated, good game. Everybody's dead. Um, But it, let's do the second part that I wanted to see. Let's just look at his communion slaves and see what he's got. First of all, just randomly clicking around, there is a lot of communion masters, but not a lot of communion slaves. Like, when I'm clicking... And all these guys are communion slaves. It's like, where the fuck are the communion? I mean, are, are communion masters? It's like, where are all the communion slaves? Like, no wonder they burnt out. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy shit. See, if he kept the communion up, he would have kept enslaving my guys and my water elementals would have never run forward. But not having mass regen, I think he still would have lost because Astral Tempest was ticking through his stuff. But if I had Foul Vapors, it would have been the same. But really, he needed mass regen. I honestly haven't found a single communion slave. Jesus Christ. How greedy. I guess he was just planning on murdering me round one, which, you know, it could have worked. He, had a, he did do a lot of enslave, but I had a pretty big army. I will find communion slaves. I know they're here. Wait, what? Oh, he's already killed them. He already killed them. Holy shit. There are a few interspersed in here. One, two. Okay, so... First of all, we can tell roughly how many he has from looking at a communion master. Magic boost five, that's a lot. That means it's two to the fifth. So, two to the first is two, and then two to the second is four, and then two to the third is eight, and then two to the, um, to the fourth is 16, and then 30, so he must have 32, with maybe a little bit extra. This guy's already pretty high in fatigue, we don't see regen. Oh, there goes Regen, so now he has Regen, and it's possible he had it before and I was just being an idiot. Uh, we see some Reinvigoration, too. So he has Earth Power, he doesn't have- oh, he has Relief, too. So he's got a fair amount- he's actually got six Reinvigoration on 30-something slaves, which is a lot, but he has a shit ton of Masters. A shit ton. I, I'd be interested to know how many he actually had, but it's possible he was, like, 40 slaves and, like, 80 Masters. Which... If it was an on-path communion, it would be, like, super on point. You can totally do a two-to-one master-to-slave ratio with an on-path communion, but with off-path, it's really dangerous. And I don't even know the right number. I just... I just know you need... I would I would say one-to-one -one would be, like, starting point of testing. I wouldn't really test two-to-one for off-path, like, majority off-path communions. Anyway. There we go. So we've taken it. We have taken it. Took us a long time, Jesus Christ. Give me them gems. We got two two wish castings. 
Now we may end up running out of pearls because this is not a lot of gems. But part of the reason it's low is because we haven't had as many to to do our our shenanigans. Um Okay, we're gonna go ahead and claim this. Um, and now these guys, we're all gonna have to figure out where we're gonna roll them out. And there's a good chance we go for Shinoyama. One, two, three. It's possible I move here in the next turn and nap with Shinoyama and take this. Thing I have to be worried about is bone grinding. But I kind of want to let Shinny. I don't really want to... Pythium's getting eaten. Maybe the trick is to come and... I could probably Gatestone out and get... Uh... Where's my Gatestone caster? Let's go ahead and put this up. So we could potentially Gatestone these guys out. We can put them wherever we want. Now I have a nap with Pythium. I think I have, we have nap too. I'll have to go check, but uh, ending nap with Pythium is a possibility. But there's a good chance of doing that because this will give me access to this throne, which actually I don't think anybody can contest if I get it from Pythium. Um. Right now I have one, two, three, four. This one's about to be mine, I'm about to have five. I need eight to win. The other thing I was thinking about is like, teleporting an army on top of this one with a gate stone, clearing it, casting Wish from inside, summoning a, a Doom Horror, and permanently destroying this one. Which would make it so there's only seven thrones needed to win. Um, I, we probably, gosh, there's just too many players in this game. This game is so fucking big. And I actually made the mistake on the game after this, so it's kind of silly. My McCone game is going to have the same problem. Except I'm playing McCone, so I'm not in as good of a position. Um, if we're going very deep into the late game, I would say McCone is not like a very strong late game nation. So, that's good. Now, let's take a look at this. So, I'm gonna get this, which is trivial, the Order, which is gonna be nice, and Spread Dominion 5, which is the shit, and Dominion Conflict bonus, which I think, and I don't really, I think it's a little murky how it works, but I think it's going to make my Dom Strength 20, Dom Strength 21, holy shit, Dom Strength 20. How are people resisting my Dominion? Let's look at, like, down here, where I've, like, it has gotten the chance to fill up. Yeah, Pythium cannot resist it. Look at this, he's probably got people preaching here, they can't do shit. And once I get like eight or nine candles, they can't even preach it down. Yeah, I think we're gonna win through Dominion. Just gonna have massive, massive, massive Dominion push. I think that's actually where all my money's gonna go, I got 5,000 gold to spend. I think we're gonna keep doing this. I don't think I'm actually gonna eat anybody, I think we're gonna get ready. And I know that's like really weird to say at turn 117, but... <sighs> okay, here's Kuth Ghoul. If you could go ahead... Okay, we've still got a lot of gem crystal, so... If you guys could both still wish for gems, that would be really just wonderful. And if you look at my gym income, it's going crazy. So the thing we have to prepare for next, it's actually the most important thing we have to do, is we need to get uh, Nadina to uh, cast Gift of Health. Is this my... One second, I want to research. Okay, uh, I've got the Mod Inspector pulled up. So uh, this is how I kind of theorycraft some of this. Which guy do we need to get? Now, what we want to do is, if we 
one second, we're gonna go back to Dominions. If we look at uh, this fine lady here, she can, we can do uh, Robe of the Magi, we can do Tree Lord's Staff, we're now up to six. We can do, um, what do you call it? Moonvine Bracelet or something. And we can fill these up. And basically that's gonna give us uh, eight. So we can do an eight casting, which means we can do it with 800 gems. Actually, that's fine. But we'll, just for theory crafting purposes, uh, we'll come here and look. Problem with Tree Lords is they're great, which is, and I was gonna use them, but then I realized the gem cap, and so I kind of wasted the gems on the Tree Lord a little. But, um, I mean, he's still gonna be a good Throne Guardian, but I need people with slots. <sighs> um, the Capricorn actually would not be terribly bad. I would say that would be like an option, because we could summon him underwater. Um... Yeah. I mean, you could even get like a pan or something. Yeah. So those would all be better, but I mean, it's going to cost me a ton of gems and a wish turn. What it's really going to cost me is a wish turn, which is really, you could think of it as like a hundred pearls. I think the better way to think of it is uh, like a 1600. Uh, oh, 1600. Uh, 160 gems. So, well, not 160, 140. It's gems of all type if I would have cast uh, a wish instead. Um, yeah, the... But I think getting any of the ones like a pan, anybody above, above land means I have to waste a turn moving and I don't want to do that. Uh, but other good options are, of course, the Balams. They're just pretty solid units. But I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're going to cast with 800. And the other thing we can check, let's go just check all the nature boosters. So the way you check for this is you type boosters here in advanced. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Items, boosters, and then in. And this will show you all the nature boosters. Basically, we've got miscellaneous, we've got art, armor, we've got hands. The only thing I can think... No, that wouldn't work. You could trade, like, do a miss, like a copper hand or something to, to be able to wield both of these. But that would be giving up a miscellaneous slot, and... Yeah. Doesn't really help us, because we have a nature booster that would go in there. So I think we're just going to have to stick with doing a casting of, of eight... The final option is empowerment, which I, honestly I would do before I do uh, wishing for somebody. Because actually, yeah, that's what we would do. The last cast was at 515. So it's very possible this cast went to 700. I would be very, very shocked if they did it with 800. 800 be a ton. Eight hundred would be a ton. So, yeah, we're gonna claim the throne. We are going to. That rat tail whip may actually be useful later. Uh, yeah, we're gonna claim the throne. I need to go ahead and move. Uh, well, he can just build it next time. There's no point really moving anybody. Because this is going to, with Dominion spread to five, it's going to go up in a hurry. Um, we're building a rock wall here. I think turn after. Okay, we're already done preaching here, basically. Like, look, guys, y'all move out here. We're going to go ahead and build a temple. We're just going to do temples literally everywhere. We're going to have the highest fucking Dom push anybody has ever seen, and it's going to be templed.
You may think, God, Lucid, this is not very cool. Just taking over the water and putting forts and temples everywhere while everybody on land fights? Well, yeah, I could probably agree with you. It's not very cool. But we were getting like 3v1 for a while. And uh, I don't know if we can win on the land fights. And as soon as we start winning on land, everybody's going to turn on us. So, uh, while I want to give you guys a good show, um, my first priority is getting the big W, if you know what I mean. Oh wait, let's just send you back here, actually. Now where was- what were you doing? You guys did not storm, they just sat there. Goddamn, lazy fuckers. Ooh, we have nature gems on them, though. That's gonna be nice. Can we pull nature gems off you? Yeah, we can. Get that nature gem count up. Uh, I guess we'll have everybody site search. There's no point having them research. We don't really have anything else for them to do. Um, fair amount of unrest. Very nice fort, though. Do I really not have anybody here who's sacred? Are you sick? No. Okay, I guess not. Um... Okay. You can actually do something useful. You can site search too. You can... Hang tight. Uh, maybe we'll send one of you over here to site search? Uh, here we are preaching. This is actually a really valuable province. We're going to go ahead and upgrade it to a castle. It's 250. I don't really want him taking it from me. Um, we need to send a message to Vanna Roos and saying... Uh, we're going to copy that. So I may have typed it. Yeah, it was 259. Um, yeah, we don't see too much action on this front. Search, we're preaching. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it for the recording here. But basically what we're going to do, I'm going to get spend all these gems making trips. Oh, we'll do one more thing. I just want to show you this army we're building. Look at this. I mean, are you not, wait, what the fuck? How do I have different ones? Okay, we need to see what I'm doing where I'm actually getting different ones because that is not intentional. We have a white and then we have Bane. Oh, okay. That's because there's a site here. I can't actually remember which ones are better. 20, 16, 12, 14, 23, 17, 12, 13, 16 MR, 15 MR. Okay, these Banes, the ones we're getting from the site, are actually better. So that's cool. Um, they hit a shit ton harder, too. Oh, because they've got a two-handed sword, not a shield. Well, that's cool. You can see we've got 900 siege strength here. So please prepare to get the fuck out. Uh, and our god can lead undead. So as we do, this is kind of my, my plan now, is we're going to get so much dom push, it's going to be so crazy, um, and this throne of bureaucracy is going to help. I think we're going to go take Shinyama next. And... But we're going to just, we'll do it as our Dominion pushes over. Because what's going to happen is as the lake fills up, it's going to start putting out Dawn Pressure. Right now, it's not, it's mostly just filling up. But like here, once it's all filled up, it starts putting out pressure. I'm going to fort all of this up. We're going to put commands in for that this turn. And we're going to build temples in all of these. Like, especially in all my blood hunting core here. 
temples everywhere. Like, why do I not have a temple here? All temples right in this core, and that's going to emanate out. And basically, where our dominion goes, our army is going to follow. And very shortly, we are going to steal Gift of Health. We're going to do it 800 casting. And then that's going to give us almost double HP inside our dominion on top of high HP troops. We'll still be vulnerable to some things like uh, we have drain dominion. So that's going to help too, because we're not going to be getting the magic penalty if we're in TNG, I mean, uh, Pythium scales, which is obviously really good if we're worried about master and slave. Um, <coughs> so yeah, we're just going to follow and I can use my God. And so what we'll probably do is we get close to that is I'll summon another uh, Kuth Ghoul and we'll get another wish casting set up going. And uh, so that'll take a couple God turns, but then my God is going to roll with my army and we will just bump through forts and just murder people. The other thing I may need to get is a Malakwi myself, and that's to get the turn one any magic off before he can get master and slave off. So I'm probably going to do that. We're going to have a doom stack with my army that's going to roll around. And uh, that's just how we're going to do things. Um, yeah, I think that's it, boys. Um, you can see here our Dominion is piling up, but it's not ultra high yet. So we might actually need to fort these two as well. Well, I'm not sure. I don't want to piss off Vanaroos too much. Vanaroos, while they are kind of appetizing to take this and they're kind of committed on another front war, they're also, I think, the only because they have a lot of storm demons, they're the only new sh nation pretty well suited to actually fight me underwater. And they're also wrecking Pythium right now. Uh, let's actually watch some of the other fights because we did see some fights. So this actually, this is a Vanarus PD dump, uh, but he's got a Harbinger with a Star of Thraldom, which is okay versus Thugs, and a Heavenly Horn, and then a Shade Mail, so he's going to be hard to catch. Look at him flap those little flappy wings. Slowly beating through everybody. I don't know if he took... Oh, he got an affliction. He must have taken some... How much damage did he take? He didn't have regeneration. This must be a pre-existing affliction. Okay, that was effective. Okay, we took this back. Did I not take the other one back? Oh, we did. There was no PD there. So... It's nice to have those back. I'll actually site search you because you're not fully site searched. But I think that was it for all the all the stuffs. Oh. Yeah, a lich and some Wraith Lords move. Actually, let's look at that. Let's just see what he's got kitted out here. Now, this is a pretty thick little goon squad. Minimal gear. With uh, Skelly Spam support. Seems pretty good. This would kill a literal infinite... Oh, they're just going to spam skeletons. What I thought they were going to do was have the Lich spam skeletons and these guys run in. But... Got some gold events. But yeah, Relay is... Uh, Relay has been conquered. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Was a fun one. Take care.